thank you, Paulina, uh, for the invitation. And uh, sorry that I was a bit late. Uh, I had some uh, technical difficulties. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, so, so uh, in, in, indeed, uh, I'm. Uh, maybe I will uh, explain who, who I am uh, much shorter. I'm with you and since always. Uh, so I started uh, um, uh, 18 years ago uh, as, as a student at the time, and I'm still um, uh, within uh, United Nations. Uh, and, and indeed, that's my, uh, let's say, the, the first and I hope the last job. Uh, uh, so at least that's, that's my plan. Uh, and, and, and also the plan for today is simply to present to you um, where we are with uh, not only SDGs as a as a as a as an international uh, framework for cooperation, but um, uh, as we are where we are with uh, uh, the global threat called um, as uh, and described as uh, climate crisis. So th that's why I will be uh, focused on on SDG number fourteen, um, that one which is um, fully devoted on climate action and all the things around. I know that I have. Uh, 20 minutes, yeah, if, if, I, if, I, if, if I'm right. Uh, okay, so so I will try to present to you as quickly as I can uh, 100 slides, because uh, more or less that's what I have for you. I left, I will, I think left the presentation um, also for, for you to, 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 to dig a bit deeper uh, within, especially to, to you know, to, to take a look about uh, various data statistics, uh, uh, because uh, what we are doing, uh, you know, very well um, as a, as UN system, we are we are very good with collecting data. And in fact, we are a global uh, development think tank, and it's also good to uh, to define that way um, uh, UN. And as you know, we are also uh, managing the the global uh, policy, which is called UN climate policy. Uh, and uh, without uh, many successes. Uh, unfortunately, because you know the world is uh, too complicated, and we have such a, a, a interesting um, the politicians like um, Donald Trump or um, or other examples around the world, which simply are saying that uh, um, that we uh, that they don't believe that uh, such a threat as a, as a global global crisis is coming. Um, on, on the other side, we have um, an initiative which is called United in Science. So all. Um, uh, you know, the most prestigious um, institutions, uh, scientific institutions, which are simply dealing with climate issues, uh, acting together to uh, to present what we know about that global threat. And of course, you know, the the the, the tragedy, tragedy behind is uh, between the, the wisdom and uh, stupidity. And, and uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, stupidity always wins. And, and uh, yeah, so but at least we are trying, you know, to to, to present where we are with this uh, with this um, with this phenomena called the climate crisis. So I will start with uh, with this presentation. Um, I hope uh, that that will be uh, visible. Uh, please, please let, let me know if if you are able to see the first slide. Uh, if yes, yeah, okay. yes, we can. Okay, wonderful. So yeah, so I will start with number thirteen. Yes, yeah? so so the, the lucky thirteen uh, uh, climate action. So that uh, that that sphere is for uh, all climate action around the globe, and and which we are simply trying to uh, to coordinate uh, from our end, from from UN system. Of course, behind that uh, we have um, trust funds, uh, funding, development banks private sector which simply are trying to uh, to 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 integrate their efforts to um, to to produce things or services which are less harm uh, for for the environment than before and, and more or less that will also we are doing as um, as UN global compact behind me we have our logo um, so so i'm i'm with um, UN global compact that part of UN system is simply dealing with private sector academia governments local 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 authorities to 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 you know to also to deal with sdg but in particular to deal with sdg number 14 sdgs you know perfectly so just to remind that's where we are uh, but coming back to the other or let's say or, or beautiful something we have a picture from the nasa that's my favorite picture that picture is from a nasa earth observatory mission a program which is uh, uh, cooperating with us with un and we are getting from nasa from noaa and other space agencies uh, a lot of data to uh, to integrate them into various uh, un reports but that uh, specific picture is showing something very very important you can see the lighting points so that light is representing electricity 
electricity around the globe uh, from in, in 75 percent are from coal, oil, and gas. So we are simply in, a, in an energy trap. And because we are very good with, uh, that's the next slide, um, uh, with, uh, um, you know, mobility. So, so we, we as humans, we are able to spread out from, from Africa, where we started, uh, to other continents. And now we are more or less here. Uh, these lighting points are representing at least 50% of global populations. The number is growing. In 2050, we will have 66% uh, of global population in cities. Uh, as you know, most cities are located close to sea, ocean, uh, river, lake, or other sources of, uh, of, of sweet water. That's what we simply need to, um, to, 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 to survive, to, to develop our, our, our cities. And in addition to that, we as human beings, we are um, also uh, we ha we have to we have to um, stay in the places where the temperature is acceptable uh, for our organisms. So, so also from that perspective, it's good to know that climate crisis is simply changing that that uh, um, that um, useful, attractive niche for us for for humans, and we have to move from the places where temperature is too high. Uh, or, and of course, we, where uh, the water is is is, uh, is not available uh, to the places where we could survive. And again, what we also um, expecting, uh, predicting that uh, human mobility, human migrations, climate migrations, that's what will come uh, in um, very huge numbers uh, in, in in future years. That's why what we need uh, we need a climate solidarity. Um, and what's, what also we know that cities where we are, uh, they, they are covering just 3% of land. It's also good to remember that we are able to, uh, you know, we, we have enough space as humans. The only problem is with uh, how we are managing our development. Uh, our development is not sustainable at all. And that's why we need to change it. And that's why we have, and then for that purpose, we have SDGs as a, con as a concept. Why? And here I will take you for a small journey to the very, very old times. So we, uh, as you know, we started with, um, as, as humans with fire, uh, we started with caves. Uh, in caves, we, um, uh, because of fire, we, we, we developed something very, very, very important, uh, a, a, a niche for, for our existing um, a secure places where we starting to invent various things like tools. And also we are starting to paint. A beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, paintings, uh, as, as you can see here. Why? Because we were safe in these places. We have fire, and because of fire, we have, um, we have, uh, we, we were able to protect ourselves from from wild uh, animals. And that's why we humans, uh, starting from caves, uh, we uh, spread out. Um, uh, I know you know that. I'm pretty sure you know that map from Africa to to other continents. It takes us some time, uh, but now we are everywhere. And uh, we are, as a, as a species, we are a uh, very aggressive one. Uh, and uh, that's why a geologist also define a, a, a present uh, the period as Anthropocene, uh, the era of, of, of Homo sapiens, because we are simply, we, we, we are, we are, we are uh, uh, you know, we conquered the, 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 whole, the whole planet and simply we have, we, don't, we didn't have any competition. And we are so effective that we even are able to change the climate as a structure. And, and that red line is showing that perfectly. Before we had a, a natural um, um, processes, one, in one period we have a bit colder temperature, in another period we have uh, a bit, um, the temperature goes, go, goes up. But now, uh, unfortunately, we humans, because of CO2 emissions and methane emissions, we are able to completely, you know, de de destabilize the model. Uh, and as a consequence, of course, we um, just to remind you, uh, we, we have ancient city, cities uh, in danger because all the cities I, I'm presenting here, like uh, uh, here you have uh, Baghdad, here you have uh, the, the present um, uh, the Mexico City, um, here you have Delhi, uh, here you have um, Rome, but uh, ancient one, um, the, the, the beautiful uh, work of one of the archaeologists who simply in details shows uh, how Rome looks like uh, in, in previous centuries. All these places are in danger because here you have Copenhagen, here you have Mogadishu, here you have Delhi, and now uh, in present days, and here you have Jakarta. 
in Indonesia. That city is simply under, it, it simply will be flooded. And this city is, we, we are unable to protect, it's impossible. That's why last year the government of Indonesia decided to, to move the city from the place where Jakarta is already, is just right now to the North uh, Island Borneo. Uh, in addition to that, of course, we have some this type of phenomena as an as industrial uh, revolution with all the things which are positive, like uh, uh, rights, uh, human rights, uh, uh, rights for, for, for uh, rights, uh, for, for women rights, uh, etc. Et but also we, um, we learn how to use coal and how to use oil and how to um, dig uh, using the, the, the really huge machines and, and simply were able to, 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 to again destabilize the climate. Why we know that? Because we know uh, we, we have a specific, a very, very precise data from uh, very prestigious institutions like World Resource Institute or International Energy Agency or others, uh, where, where we simply know who is emitting uh, uh, what and, and which country is the, 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 the biggest polluter, like China, US, European Union, of course, number three, India, number four, Russia, number, number fifth, and others. So these countries, this group of countries are our, um, let's say, partners uh, where we are talking and discussing a climate process, a UN climate process, and we have to agree with them some uh, compromise. Without them, it's simply, you know, we, we, it, it's impossible to, to move in a, in, a proper, in a proper direction. When we will move from cities into sectors, uh, again, uh, that, that's, that's one of my favorite slides from, uh, from Climate Watch. Um, which th that slide simply showing that uh, industry is not the main problem. Uh, the, the main problem is uh, are us. We humans lives in cities. Please take a look. Take a look. Energy use in buildings seventy point uh, five percent and transport sixteen percent. Uh, that's that's our mobility, our activities, our uh, let's say standard of living, which is simply growing uh, together with the growing standard standard of living, quality of life, uh, energy consumption is also growing, and that's a problem. Uh, why I'm saying that, please rem remember, 60%, uh, at least 60% of energy uh, consumption around the globe uh, are uh, in cities. Um, in uh, development countries, uh, in countries which are uh, which has the status of donor country, the rich one, this, uh, this, this percentage is 80%. So in, in, in cities like Copenhagen, Warsaw, New York, energy consumption is 80%. So much, much higher than in, let's say, in Delhi, uh, because that city is much, more, much, much, much poorer. Uh, the other thing, uh, just to remind you, we have, of course, um, global greenhouse, green, uh, greenhouse uh, gas emissions. Uh, so to, here you have how it looks like in percentage, of course, CO2 uh, and, and methane, they are the most um, important, uh, but, also we have, but also we have others. Uh, Energy consumption, please take a look how uh, rapidly that energy consumption is growing uh, in, let's say, our times. Yes? So that, that was uh, our generation, uh, generation before us, and that's it. And if before, in the early 50s, uh, just after the Second World War, situation was more or less stable. Uh, after the Second World War, especially in the 70s, we starting to, uh, to, to, to emit um, uh, too much. And simply, uh, the, 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 the wild nature was enabled to absorb that additional CO2 and methane. Why? David Attenborough was explaining that very precisely in his last documentary film, uh, where, where, where he is uh, reminding, reminding uh, to, to us that when he was born uh, 93 years old, uh, 93 years ago, um, the, the wild nature that was 60% of, of, let's say, uh, the global ecosystem. Now, when we are uh, talking, uh, that's the just 37, 37. And, and that's unbelievable how fast we are able to, to, to destroy the, 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 the wild part of our uh, ecosystem. So we are simply, as I said, we as humans, we are very, very aggressive. Uh, and again, coming back to that slide, uh, just to, just to uh, show you the, the one of my favorite, favorite report, IPBS report, uh, that one is uh, also is simply presenting the, the, the red list categories, you have it here, but on the left, um, uh, left corner, you have, uh, how you have the table which is simply showing how fast we are, we are losing species in, uh, in five main groups. So we, we started in, 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 uh, in, in 1,500 uh, when we started with mammals. Later, uh, we lost birds. Uh, 
amphibians and, and uh, recently reptiles and fishes. Why? Because we're starting to um, to be to uh, you know to, to, to be present in um, in, in, in in places uh, which are which were uh, before uh, close for hu for for human activities like uh, Amazonia rainforest or other examples. Simply, we are almost everywhere, and of course, with, with, with the consequences to to the to the to the to the wild, wild nature. Here we have some data from that report, which are very depressing. Um, my favorite: um, humanity has transformed 75% of the Earth's surface. Of course, for um, for um, our uh, let's say uh, um, purposes related to food production. Um, uh, the other example, uh, the pressure of human activity is not 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 applicable on 66% of the world's oceans. Of course, I'm saying about global fisheries, um, and uh, we are losing also corals, and we have a problem with plastic pollution in oceans. This type of things. And the last one, 85% uh, of the marshes were lost. Of course, again for food production. Uh, and we have to stop that. It's it's simply too much. Um, uh, yeah. So so of course you have here other um, uh, interesting data. What we know from politicians, by the way, uh, that's uh, point number one. Uh, in the last 50 years, uh, the world's population has doubled. The size of world's economy has been increased fourfold. International trade has been increased tenfold. That food market has been tripled. What that mean? Wow, success, huh? Uh, GDP is growing, huh? So, so that that that's a message we 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 get from from the from the main media and from the, the politicians. Uh, but be, behind that success, we have all these losses um, described here uh, in this uh, couple of hit, uh, hints I, I presented to you. Of course, that the, the report is, is is much more depressing. Uh, is it, is is very good to to take a look and and and, and learn, learn from them from from there from the, from there. Um, um, yeah, I get some uh, information on chat. Um, ah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, five minutes more. Thank you for, for that reminder. Yeah, so uh, for very briefly, uh, United in Science, uh, that's, that's the space uh, I strongly recommend to you. Um, that, that space were, were, uh, were, were um, established by, by uh, my boss, uh, UN Secretary General uh, Antonio Guterres, uh, in 2019, uh, in uh, September, as a part of uh, General Assembly, uh, he simply uh, uh, invited all academic institutions to, to, to act together and to present their reports together, their findings together. And that um, is, is very easy to, to find out. Just uh, plus, please write UN, United Nations, um, um, United in Science, and you will get the result. The web page, which, which I strongly recommend to you to, to learn by yourself, uh, where we are with the with the climate crisis and and the, the whole problem behind. On the right side of that slide, you have the six uh, main threats we have to deal somehow: uh, global temperature rise, um, green greenhouse gas emissions, uh, ocean acidification, ocean warming, uh, sea level uh, 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 continues to rise, and of course. Uh, the, we are simply losing cryosphere very, very fast. And these six uh, threats are, in fact, the, 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 that's what we have to do. We have to simply uh, stop the, 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 the process of, 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 of disintegrating uh, the, the climate as, as a mechanism, because we are fully, um, fully uh, um, based on, 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 on that, that climate structure. It, when we lose the stability of climate, we are lost as a, as a species. And that's, that's, of course, not only human beings, but also the other um, uh, ecosystems, uh, uh, part of, uh, parts of ecosystems. So, so we, that's why this, this global threat is so, um, is so uh, serious. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and coming back to, uh, to, to this, uh, you know, to this um, stupidity and, and wisdom, uh, I, I strongly recommend to you to find out on, on YouTube, uh, last uh, interview of, of Stephen Hawking, um, that, 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 that was great, great, you know, his in fact his last last will, a um, couple of months later he died. Uh, that uh, interview uh, uh, during that interview he says that that uh, on, on, uh, answering the question if if it's any hope for us for humans he says that uh, in fact we have two hopes. One is uh, what is Elon Musk uh, what Elon Musk is doing that maybe a small part of us will 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 move to 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 other planets, uh, but for the rest. 
zero hope. In fact, Earth is lost. Uh, that's what he says. Um, as a scientist, as a you know, very smart guy. Um, you know, I have much more hope uh, uh, in, in me, um, but, but, but still, uh, we are indeed in a, in a very, very, very huge uh, crisis and, and uh, we simply need to move uh, quickly in a proper direction to escape from this energy trap, especially, uh, which, we are, uh, which, which, we are, which we are facing. Just to remind, 75% of uh, global um, energy uh, is, is, is from um, coal, uh, oil and gas. And it's simply, of course, grow, is growing uh, uh, energy from water or from, from sun, but very, very slowly, too slowly. Uh, we have time till 2030, 2050 maybe. After that, the climate will be... Uh, destabilized in a, in a such huge, uh, uh, so, 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 so strongly that, that, that it will be impossible to, to, to stop the temperature rising. And that, that, that's why um, this climate solidarity is, is so, 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 so deeply needed. Uh, because I have just, uh, you know, two, three minutes, uh, I, I need to, I need to stop with, uh, with that guy. Um, so, so, so my hope also for the planet that we'll have more uh, smart, smart um, leaders than uh, the, the, the stupid ones. Uh, yeah, so that, that, that's my hope to, to not only to, to, to myself, but also to all of you. And, you know, once more, um, I'm a huge thank you for, for the invitation. I'm also ready to, to, to answer some questions if any are here. Um, yeah, but, but, you know, I hope uh, less Donald Trump, more uh, Joe Biden is needed for the planet. Uh, and, and I will leave you with that. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Camille. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope colleagues, you uh, found that incredibly helpful. And I know you said, Camille, some of it was depressing, but actually it, it, I think for the people here today, it, it gives them inspiration to, to carry on making, uh, taking action in their communities. Uh, Rocco, you have a question. Uh, would you like to ask Camille your question? Hi, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering just uh, what is your opinion on the nuclear power as a, as a possible source of clean energy, but also dangerous? So what is your opinion on that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, we have a. Uh, I, I will. I will leave you uh, that, that 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 presentation. So you have a slide um, on 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 uh, uh, nuclear energy in my presentation. But but very briefly, um, you know, the, the energy structure around the, around the world is uh, defined that way. That we need uh, uh, nuclear energy to, uh, to 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 simply to escape from this. Uh, from this energy trap. And of course, we have countries like France, uh, just to remind you, 78% of, uh, of energy consumption in France are, are from, from nuclear power. Um, they are safe, uh, they are working. Uh, uh, France, uh, even um, uh, recently, uh, they, um, they announced that their new energy strategy, they are simply planning to, uh, to, to have uh, climate neutrality before 2030 because of nuclear power. Uh, it's possible. What China is doing, that's also interesting. China is building just right now 28 blocks of nuclear powers, uh, the biggest number um, you know, uh, around the globe. Uh, we have uh, some uh, more in, in, in other countries, in, in Hungary, um, the, the new is building. Uh, Poland is thinking on the, on the, on the, on the, on the first, uh, first one in the, in the country. Around the globe, we have 483 uh, nuclear power plants, um, and, uh, and they are more or less safe. Of course, we had Fukushima as a case, true. Uh, but uh, when we are comparing the, the whole problems related to CO2 emissions from, uh, from, from energy plants based on coal, definitely nuclear power is better. Even if we are reminding, uh, and we know that, that, um, that the nuclear waste is, is somewhere behind um, that process true, but, but um, you know, it, it's simply better energy sources uh, source than, than uh, from coal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Osoria, you have a question? Yes, hi, my name is Osoria uh, Poyachko. I'm from Budapest, Hungary. And uh, 
uh, yeah, so you were speaking about huge brand uh, global challenges. And, and I, my question is, what uh, advice would you give to local organizations such as we are uh, to, to get, tackle these challenges locally? Okay, so advice is very simple. Uh, use your uh, free time in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a perfect way. Learn. Uh, learn as much as you can to be able to educate uh, people around you, uh, your family, your friends, your you know, colleagues in the office, uh, uh, you know, every, everyone around. Because what we need, really need, we need a global climate education. Simply people don't know. And because they don't know, they are uh, choosing Donald Trump. Uh, sorry, that may, may, maybe I, too much Donald Trump uh, in my speech, but I, I know I, I really don't like that guy. Uh, he was very, very, um, I know, aggressive uh, with his uh, stupid ideas and 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 and, and uh, ignorance uh, uh, of of, um, of 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 knowledge we, we, we simply have, which is simply producing his own agencies like NASA and NOAA. So that that was unbelievable that we, we were, that, that this type of person um, was uh, was uh, was the president of United States. Uh, but remember that we could have similar people around us, uh, similar leaders. The only solutions to, 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 to choose, uh, to make proper political choices, we have to educate people, educate people around us. Without education, we are lost. Thank you. And you stole my question because I was going to ask the same question. I know, uh, oh, Sonia, your programme in, in Hungary was looking at local elections, I understand. So I think there's a point there, Camille, about um, the people here today have great strength um, in their communities. They have very strong networks. Sometimes they're working to improve the local environment and make it greener. Other times they're actually enabling democracy and enabling communities to share their voices and, and encourage them to vote, which is uh, what, uh, um, a key yeah. thing uh, for certain projects. What, what more could they do, I think, in, in being uh, that civic engagement, I suppose? You talked about education, but they, each community foundation here has some money and it has some influence. What, could they work with politicians, for example, or work with policy officers? Yeah. So yeah. So so the answer will be uh, maybe uh, similar to the previous um, to the previous question. Educate first, but later uh, plant trees. Huh? <laughs> so so th th that's my my request to all of you. Uh, if you are planning to 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 left some something behind you, uh, our life is very short, but we can do something really really good. Plant trees, uh, and, and that's the you know the perfect uh, solutions for your uh, question. Uh, if you will be able to do that in your local communities, you know, you will uh, support, you know, this global efforts related to climate process a bit. Because what we know from the real science, and it's, good to, it's very good to, to take a look on the, on the last report uh, prepared by uh, UNEP, United Nations Environment, and that, that report is uh, describing in details what we could do to, let's say, terraform the planet, which is called Earth, not Mars, forget about that. So we could terraform Earth because of trees. If we will be able to simply to, 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 you know, to, to, to give back to the planet what we destroy, uh, we, will, uh, we will be able to, uh, to stabilize the, the climate as a, as, a, as a mechanism again. And that's our hope. Of course, together with all the efforts related to green technologies and investment packages, all the things which are called uh, professionally green um, finance or sustainable finance. Uh, also here we are, we are dealing with uh, development banks, commercial banks to, to be sure that um, the flow of funding, the capital is simply in a proper place. Uh, to, to, to make this energy transformation possible. But uh, behind that are human activities at the local level. And, you know, you should re uh, define this for, for yourself, but take around, huh? if, if, uh, look around. If, if you are able to plant at least uh, one tree uh, per uh, week, why not, possible, uh, you will have, uh, you know, uh, impressive number of trees uh, um, after 50, 60 years. And that's a challenge. For instance, here in Poland, we are starting, um, in fact, uh, in, in one month from now, a uh, huge uh, trust fund, which we, 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 we are calling Green, Green, Green Fund. And then that fund is uh, for trees in uh, 74 Polish cities. Uh, and, uh, and we started, we, we were starting with Warsaw, um, 
colleagues from Warsaw knows perfectly Marszałkowska Street. So that street, which is in the center of the city, uh, will be fooled by, by trees, not one, but a couple of um, hundreds. Uh, so we'll uh, create a small forest in the, in the center of the city, just to first show that it's possible to transform the city, which before, which before was the, you know, the, 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 the you know, without any 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 green and um, any 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 green um, area um, and and simply it, it's it's possible in a relatively short time and what is even more important it's not as costly you know it is not so 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 expensive when we present to the city mayor uh, the budget he was surprised that this activity is so cheap especially when we recalculate together with that proposition how uh, impressively how 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 how, how, how many uh, additional um, positive elements are behind that uh, investment so people people are uh, people are simply feel better um, lives better uh, you know all all the elements uh, related to this uh, activity simply act attractive also attractive financially for the city Thank you. I think these are the kind of things that are helpful if you can show the local government that it's cheap, <laughs> but you achieve your community's aim. It's uh, very helpful. I think we're asking Camille today people to take action after this meeting. So I think you've challenged everybody to go and plant trees today, yes, <laughs> which is <that>. great. <laughs> uh, does anyone have any questions before we finish? Any final ones? No? Um. Camille, what kind of information do you think our colleagues here could look for? Um, what information that they could find online or reports would help them with their work in their communities? That was another question I had. United in Science, that's the place I strongly recommend to you. Um, that was um, de de defined for, uh, established, especially exactly for that purpose. All our reports are for free. They're all, all of them are public domain. So we are not selling our reports. We are producing them exactly for that purpose to, to, to allow anyone to, to learn from this and to, to educate others. And of course, if uh, you have in your countries, um, UN representatives, uh, it, it's simply good to start to, 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 to look for. Um, it's also a good idea to, to invite them uh, for your um, for your activities to, to you know to get from their uh, from their side some knowledge some expertise some ideas uh, we are always ready to do so. Thank you so much. I don't know, Paulina, do you want to? Uh, thank say you. Thank you very much. And well, good luck with your mission. And and we will be planting the trees. I mean. <laughs> So, yeah, education and trees, exactly. Yes. That's what we should do. We should do. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. All the best, my friends. Bye. Thank you, Camille. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.